Welcome back to Dolphins United, the platform for Dolphins. You heard. We back in the house. Got one for y'all real quick, man. Wanted to go ahead and recap these last two days of joint practice with the Houston Texans. All right. Mm. It wasn't great. Now, if you watch my last video, shouts out to the few of y'all that did. All right. I, I know since I was out, the algorithm don't love me right now. But we'll get back into the good graces of the algorithm. Uh, and, and things will work back out where I'll be back up in my normal views. But right now, it's just a few hundred. All right. Which... I'm like, once again, I'm cool with because I understand how it works when it comes to YouTube. But uh, for the few of you that did watch it, I was saying that, hey, man, I need to see Tua and this offense come out balling these two days because this uh, competition ain't supposed to be up to snuff, right? We're supposed to be playing against some guys that are trying to find their way, got a rookie head coach, you know, it, it, certain things like that. I want to see Tua ball out. Said that. And I wanted to see the defense confuse the rookie quarterback as well because, once again, it's a rookie quarterback, Fangio defense, although we're learning it for the first year, still should have been able to do some good things. Now, when it comes to that part, we did some good things. Got a deep couple of interceptions against the quarterbacks, and, and we did some good things. But when it comes to the offensive side, first day, wasn't all that. Now, when it came to the red zone, Tua was eating. He threw four touchdowns. When it came to 11 on 11 from outside the red zone, it was not good. All right? Tua threw two pick sixes in practice on Wednesday. All right? That's not good. We cannot have that. Now, am I tripping? Am I saying that two is a bust? Am I saying two is going to suck this year? Absolutely not. Apparently, he was trying stuff out. Apparently, he, he like uh, 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 doing Steph Curry passes where he, he no looking and, and stuff like that. And, and Pat Mahomes and stuff. And he like trying to look a safety off and throwing back this way, even though he don't know if it's open or not. Whether, whatever, whatever he doing, all right? If he finding out now that it ain't working, I like that. Because don't be doing that in the regular season, trying to figure out if it work or not. Do it now. All right, you going to throw those picks now, trying to look off a of safety, then throwing blind the other way? Do that now. You clearly see it didn't work. Don't do that no more. Don't do it no more. Because they don't work, all right? That, that throwing blind stuff or looking off and, and not uh, um, verifying before you throw, that don't work. Don't do that no more, all right? So we're hoping that that's out of his system. He done with that, all right? Move on because both picks have something to do with that. Looking off, throwing blind. Don't do that no more. That second pick... That safety read him the whole way. He wasn't even looking at the safety, and the safety read the route, and I got him, took off, all right? We can't have that. That's on the first day. Uh, defense, eating. Doing their thing against the pass, uh, 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 in the pass rush, all right, against the um, offensive lineman for the Houston Texans. They couldn't do nothing with our defensive lineman. Phillips, Eaton, Sealer, Eaton. We had guys back there just straight doing work. That's what you want to see. Van Ginkle, I got him. Pick. All right? Wasn't no pick six, but he got a pick. That's good work. Run game for us. Run game for them. You know, run game, it was a stalemate, right? Both ways. We, we couldn't get much run. They couldn't get much run. Had a lot of dinking and dunking, too, on the offense. Uh, a lot of passes that was dink and dunk for us. Couldn't get much going with none of the quarterbacks for the most part. Throwing it deep. Berrios did catch a nice pass from, well, not a nice pass. Let me rephrase that. Berrios did catch a deep pass from Skyler that he had to wait 
and pump fair catch for. All right, thank God he's the he's the punt return guy because he already, so he already know how to do that. You know what I'm saying? That ball was he was waiting for it. You know what I'm saying? It's probably like five second hang time, and then he, he caught it and then backpedal on into the end zone. You know what I'm saying? Touchdown. All jokes aside, I'm not really worried about Skyler underthrowing him. Did y'all see? Did y'all see Lamar Jackson on just on Thursday now? Severely under and this is a guy with a cannon for an arm. Severely underthrow. OBJ to where he was wide open by like two, three yards of separation. And it was so underthrown that he had to turn around. He didn't catch it. He had to turn around and it got uh, deflected because the guy was able to catch up. It happens to every quarterback, even the best of them, even the guys with the strongest arms. And he's got an arm to get it out in front of OBJ on that play. All right. Tua might not, but he got the arm to do that. He just misjudged it. Maybe the wind caught it. I don't know what happened. It happens. All right, it happens. If that was two at all, we already know what would have happened on Twitter. But it, or X, formerly known as Twitter. But anyway, all right. Uh, we're not, we're not going to talk about why Elon Musk, Elon Musk did that. What we are going to talk about is day two of joint practice. I wanted to see Tua respond, and doggone it, Tua responded. He did a lot better. Tua came out with a mission, no picks, right? He threw no picks on Thursday. That's good. Also, what is good, not as much dinking and dunking early on. He found some guys deep. Found Berrios, which we have no footage of, from my understanding, on a beautiful deep ball. In stride. 50 yards, then he, 40 yards, 40 to 50 yards. Some It was in between there. All right, shout out to my dog, TD. All right, um, I know a lot of y'all give me flack for, for liking TD, but once again, he helped me on my channel, all right? And he's just a good dude overall, although I, I always agree with him, but he don't always agree with me, all right? And y'all shouldn't always agree with me either. That's why I like going back and forth with the people that don't agree with me because... You know, we, we should have a difference of opinion. But anyway, that's besides the point. Shout out to my dog going out there to Houston. Uh, y'all, a lot of y'all that watch me um, and a lot of his subscribers helped him get there by donating. Uh, he was over there and he was the one giving us the play-by-play -play live while it was going down. Uh, we had to just depend on the eyes of the reporters, especially since they were sitting in the bleachers, and the bleachers was at ground level, it didn't go up. All right? It wasn't like state, true stadium seating where you could see both fields at the same time. It wasn't like that. So he was there on the ground, able to watch both sides and give us everything that we need to see. Salute to you, dog. Anyway, um, we didn't get good footage of that pass. He did um, detail it to us, said it was a beautiful pass, uh, but we couldn't get good footage of it. Next couple plays, Tua hit Tyreek for a real nice gain. About 25 yards on an out pass where he was wide open. There was not that one I saw from TD. There was nobody near him on that one. All right, so that was good to see. Tua did some good things. All right, only had one ball that I heard about that could have been a pick. Other than that, ball placement was fine and decision making was fine and and he did his thing. Now, when it came to seven on sevens, he struggled. Uh, threw some check downs. Couldn't really get into the end zone. But the other quarterbacks, they got into the end zone. So, I'm cool with that. That's fine. It doesn't always happen that way. In 11 on 11s, he shined, though. He did his job. He took the check downs. Didn't take many sacks. Uh, speaking of sacks, Teron Armstead got to be put on ice. All right? At this point... I wouldn't even play him every week because, <laughs> man, we, we need him toward the end of the year. All right, he, Teron Armstead is so important for the Dolphins to do anything good this year that I'm almost scared to play him until midway through the year. Like, that's how bad it is. Like, we need, we need him at the end of the year. So, for him, 
we got to put him on ice. I know he ain't going to be out there. Uh, uh, or not. I know he's not going to not be out there for the first week. All right, double negative for y'all that like those. But we just need to put him on ice for now to at least the first week. If it's not any worse than that, we're hoping and praying that the MRI comes back clean and whatever happened to him, getting rolled up on or whatever it was, that he's okay. No structural damage, no nothing, sprain, uh, uh, strain, whatever, it, what, something like. Uh, maybe he got cleated, something like, right? And he just got sit out a few weeks, get ready for the regular season so we can go up against the Chargers, Bosa and Mac, and have him out there to guard against those guys so that two is not on his back every other doggone play. So we have a chance to win that game. We already don't have Jalen Ramsey, so we can't be losing our other top 100 guy, all right? Now, we got four more top 100 guys, but oh, three more, sorry, on the team. But we need him too. We need we 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 need him. We really need him. All right. So he seems to have more than likely escaped something serious. But we can't put him back out there because he's paper mache. Something else gonna happen if we put him back out there in preseason. Ain't no point of doing that. See him back down. You done. We know that you want to gear it up. But you gearing it up right now is not working to our benefit because if you get hurt, then what was the point in the first place? Sat down, get ready for the regular season at this point. That's all you need to do. Matter of fact, ride a stroller, ride an ride a, a electric wheelchair around. Don't even much walk. I don't want you walking nowhere at this point. Don't walk. Just, just get off your feet, man. Get off your feet. Drive a golf cart everywhere you go. Even into the shower, build a ramp up into the shower, stand up, do what you need to do, sit back down when you're ready to come up out of there, and then roll your behind right on out again because we don't need nothing happening to this man here. All right? Now, Pele, he also got hurt. He was doing a fantastic job this camp, just wreaking havoc on the offensive um, line. That's our offensive line. That's others' offensive line in Atlanta and in the Texans. He's doing a good job. He gets hurt. Apparently, it's a head injury. So that seems a little strange to me. I don't know what kind of head injury this could have been. Um, I'm hoping not a concussion or, or neck injury. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, I was thinking more lower extremities, but apparently that's not the case. Maybe he had a head injury. That's one report I heard. I'm not 100% sure. Don't take that to the bank. I'm just letting you know what I heard, and I'm reporting it to y'all. Let's hope that he's okay, excuse me, because we're going to really need him as well uh, as depth on the D-line, and he was actually producing, and he was playing pretty well. Defense today, defense on Wednesday in the red zone was trash. They let up touchdowns to CJ like – they was giving him out for free. Like, it, it was pretty bad. And he was also running as well. He had a nice run in for a touchdown in the red zone. Um, on Thursday in the red zone, it was a little bit better. They still have touchdowns, but it was a little bit better. That's what you want to see. And in 11 on 11, it was definitely way better. All right? And they did a good job. They were holding them up. They were getting to the quarterback. They were stopping the run, and they were getting turnovers, all right? Had a turnover on a fumble. Also had a turnover for Holland getting an interception. Good stuff. Good stuff, all right? And I don't care what quarterback it's against because it's not always against C.J. Mills. I mean, C.J. Uh, Stroud, it was against Mills. I think the interception happened with Holland. I don't care who it's against. Get you a pick, I'm cool with that. I'm good with that. I like to see that, all right? When it comes to McDaniel, McDaniel is a funny character, all right? And I love McDaniel. To me, I don't really have a problem with the way he explains certain things, but some of the stuff he be saying be cap, you know? And I just got to call him out a little bit because, and if you don't know what cap is, it's like he, he, he not telling whole truths. Or sometimes just flat out lying too. So I mean, Cap can go either way, but like he, he's Cap sometimes, 
Because when it comes to the interceptions and stuff, like saying that Tua, uh, you don't have a problem with it if it's not something that's happening a lot. And if it's like Tua clearly stated that he was throwing blindly. So clearly there wasn't much thought going into those interceptions, in my opinion. But according to McDaniel, as long as Tua is thinking about what he's doing and there's a process to it, he has no problems with the picks as long as it's not repetitive. But Tua, on the other hand, in contrast, is saying that there isn't much thought process besides throwing, trying to uh, 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 get a safety or a DB off their spot and then throwing blindly. So do you have a problem with it or not? Why are you beating around the bush? Like, tell us for sure what it is and what it's not. Sometimes you got to come out there and scrutinize a guy and say, look, you know, I don't know what he was thinking there, but we don't need that. That's what we need from a head coach at times, all right? So I want to see that. I want to see him be better in that moving forward and sometimes just say, hey, you know what? Like, I don't know what he was thinking on that, uh, but we do need better ball security. And I understand this practice, but like we got to have a certain mindset of protecting the football, something like that. You don't got to bash the guy, but you don't have to do what he did either, okay? Uh, there's a game, of course, on Saturday. I'm not going to be at that game, all right, for sure. I'm hoping that the starters do play this game and sit out the next game. I don't like them going into the last game, trying to give it their all gearing up for the regular season and then getting hurt. I'd rather them play this game. Understanding that they're going to sit the next one, and they're going to be sitting for a few weeks. Practice is going to have to get them reacclimated so they can get in game shape. All right, that's what I would rather see. So I want them to start this one and sit out the next one. Please let me know how you feel about the practice report. What are the things you liked, didn't like? Please like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend that your boy is back doing his thing again. I'll holler at y'all in the next one. Y'all already know what it is. Fins up till we die. I'm out.